Beverly Hills Hotel hit with a barrage of protests after its owner, the Sultan of Brunei, imposed new criminal codes based on Islamic law. The rules implemented carry harsh penalties for homosexuality and adultery and include the punishment of death by stoning. Hollywood's taking a stand on this with demonstrations, some even putting pressure on the government of Brunei to sever its ties with the hotel. There's Jay Leno right there. And we're stepping into the Fox, night, Fox Light now with Michael Tamaro uh, to see how celebrities are reacting. What are you hearing? Hey, good morning. Well, you know, nothing symbolizes the glamour and affluence of Beverly Hills and Hollywood like the Beverly Hills Hotel. And ever since uh, the governor of Sultan of Brunei announced that they will be implementing Sharia law in uh, I think next year they announced it in April. So celebrities like Jay Leno, Ellen DeGeneres, Richard Branson have all been lining up. Jeffrey Katzenberg has been a big catalyst of this. Big agencies like CAA and ICM have been strongly advising their clients and agents not to do business there. The hotel has been serious. So no more deals in the polo lounge. No I mean, more, this is like until this they is huge <laughs> until the Sultan divests. They have so many this events is, at that hotel. They have a lot. Jerry Lee Lewis telethon meets there. They get all you know. If, if I'm not mistaken, they get all of the, the folks together for the, the telethon, a lot of big events. But it's a big pre-Oscar. But it's good. It's good to see gay rights groups recognize that, like radical Islam, is a threat to them. I mean, good. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, it, it seems also that Hollywood's kind of waking up a little late to the, the threat of Sharia law. Uh, a little know? bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this has been going on for quite some time. You know, we're doing a package. I'm not really for boycotts in general. I was against kind of the whole Chick-fil-A thing. To me, you have a, a man worth $20 billion on one side and Hollywood billionaires and millionaires on the other. And the people who are really going to get hurt by this are the ones who can least afford it. The hotel staff, the well, waiters, no, the valets, right. and that sort of yeah, thing. It's going to be uh, have a big impact on the city, too. $11 million in taxes. In taxes. So they're trying to get uh, the Dorchester to, group to sell. Yeah. You know, I'm working on a package right now uh, about nine, the year 1939, 75 years ago, was considered one of the best years in Hollywood and film because Hollywood was producing a lot of movies that expressed the hope and promise of America and they really kind of played a part in saving America against Nazi fascism and everything else going on in the world. Perhaps that may be a better way to start combating this sort of ideology with you know, doing movies like that. Getting the message. Yeah, out. going back to that sort of thing. Meanwhile, let's talk some nerd stuff now because you had a <laughs> chance to sit down with the cast of X-Men. Uh, this is the third Marvel film that'll be out this year, if you can believe that. They just had Captain America, Amazing Spider-Man, now X-Men Days of Future Past. You sat down with the cast. I did. This is a big ten-hole movie for uh, Fox this summer. It combines all the characters from the first three X-Men movie plus the ones from X-Men First Class. We sat down with the cast and they gave us a little bit of a preview of what we can expect. Friends. It's part time travel movie. It's it's very much a story about second chances. I think uh, X Men always deals with issues of discrimination, alienation, um, as well as being great fun. The action is bigger than ever. It's funny. I think they can expect something pretty epic and um, you know pretty extraordinary spectacle and effects and what have you, and also a story that I think is deeply you know, um, grounded and, and, and really moving and yeah. just so thrilling. We've got history on our side and in this case it's history which uh, which enlarges and expands what we've done before. I love Patrick Stewart. Oh, he's fantastic. The X-Men's opens up May 23rd. We're attending the global pre premiere tonight over at the Javits Center, and you would love this. They yeah. are recreating Cerebro as part of the, the entire red carpet. So... Am I invited? <laughs> you can come along. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Michael, great to see you. Thanks, Thanks so much, guys. Michael.